Hello friends, this is Gianna from the Milwaukee Letting Library. I'm here with a story to share with you. Now first, I want to start like we would start our regular story time, because I'm so happy to see you today, even if it is through the computer. So I want you to take your hands, we're going to clap our hands on our legs, just like that. Are you ready? It's so good to see you that I could hardly wait. Won't you clap your hands with me and count to eight? go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again. It's so good to see you that I could hardly wait. Won't you roll your hands with me and count to eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's so good to see you that I could hardly wait. Won't you wave hello with me and count to eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we can share a story. So I have a story today for you about a green animal. It's a green animal that's hiding behind this leaf. Can you guess what it might be? Hmm, can you think of any green animals? Maybe, maybe a turtle? But wait a minute. Look at this long tail. Look at this big foot. That doesn't look like a turtle. What other animal is green? Oh, maybe, maybe a snake. But wait a minute. A snake doesn't stand up on a foot like that. I don't think it's a snake. Hmm, what other animal is green? There's a bug that's green, a little caterpillar, but no, this is way too big for a caterpillar. And look at that nose. Oh, the leaf is starting to slip. Can you think of any other animals that might be big and green and have a big snout and a big tail? Did you guess? It's a crocodile. Yes. Hi, crocodile. Hi, friends. Crocodile. Yep, I've got a story about a crocodile. Now, crocodiles usually like to swim in the water, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. But this book, this book is about a different kind of crocodile. Here's the book. The book is called The Crocodile Who didn't like water. Can you imagine? Crocodiles swim in the water. They play in the water. They live in the water. But this crocodile right here didn't like water. Let's find out. Let's find out what that's all about. Now this book is written by someone named Gemma Marino and she also drew the pictures. She wrote the book and illustrated it. And we are reading it today with permission of the publisher, North South Books. So our crocodile here is standing on the cover with a little floaty with a swim ring on, dipping one little toe in the water. Hmm. Okay, take a look at that page. So this big crocodile here with Two red boots is carrying a nice red basket full of what? Full of eggs. All kinds of blue eggs and one egg that looks different. Hmm. Here we are again, the crocodile who didn't like water. Look at that crocodile sitting on the bench with a polka dot umbrella. Does that crocodile like rain? I don't think so. Not looking very happy. Here we go. Once upon a time, there was a little crocodile. And this little crocodile didn't like water. So here's all kinds of crocodiles playing in the bathtub, but one little crocodile watching. He longed to play with his brothers and sisters. 
but they were far too busy with the swim club. And this little crocodile didn't like the swim club. Look, he's just sitting up here on the branch watching while they play, play, play on the big crocodile's tail. He must, how do you think he feels right now? He's not very happy, is he? He kind of wishes he could play. What about those crocodiles? They look like they're having fun. What he really liked to do was climb trees. But nobody else did. He was up there all alone, swinging on the branch. Nobody else liked to climb trees. It was lonely having nobody to play with. Look at him now. He's in bed with all his brothers and sisters, but look, is Crocodile asleep, this little crocodile? Not at all, his eyes are wide open. So the little crocodile made a decision. He had saved up his money from the tooth fairy and he knew exactly what to buy with it. So he had saved up his money. What do you think he's going to buy? He wants to play in the water just like his brothers and sisters who are sound asleep. Look down here at the bottom, all their little slippers or shoes are lined up. Okay, so what do you think he's gonna buy with that money? Let's find out. <gasps> a swim ring, a floaty. The next afternoon, he took his new swim ring over to the water. Today, he would play with his brothers and sisters. Today was the day. So here he goes, getting ready to jump in. Look, they're already playing, aren't they? One's on the board, one's doing a flip, one has a ball. Do you think he's gonna jump in? Let's find out. Oh, he did jump in, but he couldn't play ball. The ball bounced right off of his head. And he couldn't swim underwater with his floaty on. He just stayed right on top. And although climbing the ladder was fun, he just didn't want to jump. Oh, he's standing right there at the edge of the board. How do you think he's feeling now? Maybe a little nervous. Look, they're all ready behind him, ready to go. Oh, he didn't want to be alone. So he decided to try one last time. Here he is thinking about it, sitting on his tree. Do you think he's gonna jump this time? Look at all the rest of them. They're already swimming down. They're having so much fun. I think you're right. He's gonna try. So here we go. He's gonna count. One, two, two and a half, with a big splash, and then blub, 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 glug, 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 help. Oh, so he did it. He went all the way down, but as he came back up, he yelled, help. Oh no. Oh, this little crocodile definitely hated water. It was cold. It was wet. It was embarrassing. Oh, he's shivering. He didn't like it at all. But just then, something strange happened. His nose began to tickle. And the tickle grew and grew and grew. <gasps> What's going to happen next? His nose started to tickle. He opened his mouth wide. It grew and grew until Wow, look at that. When he sneezed, out came fire. It was a fire sneeze. Wait a minute, achoo! Look, it even, it even burned the diving board. Wow, they are all amazed. What's going on? That doesn't usually happen when you sneeze. So when he, when he was done, smoke came right out of his nose and then Suddenly, oh, he knew. The 
this little crocodile didn't like water because he wasn't a crocodile at all. He wasn't a crocodile. There's the diving board burning. What do you think he was? He sneezed fire. He was a dragon. And this little dragon wasn't born to swim. He was born to breathe fire. Whoosh. Look at that, he can take his brothers and sisters on a hot air balloon now by just breathing fire. What fun. Oh, he was born to fly. He finally found something he was good at. He was born to fly. Oh, how is he feeling now? Pretty happy. Now this book ends with a picture of a dragon sitting on, what is that? I think that might be that tree branch, reading a book. And here's the book. That book is called The Dragon Who Didn't Like Fire. And it's hard to see right past the edge of this book flap, but you might notice a whole little circle of eggs there. I think they might even be in a swim ring. And there's lots and lots of eggs. Most of them are white and there's one little blue egg. Maybe that will be the next book. The one little egg that maybe is a dragon who doesn't like fire. We'll have to wait for the next book to find out. So that book was called The Crocodile Who Didn't Like Water. That was a good one. Now, along with water, I think crocodiles also usually like to chase monkeys. I brought some monkey friends with me today. Can you help me count how many? Let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five little monkeys. So hold up one hand and you've got your five little monkeys right there. Now these little monkeys, they like to swing from the tree, just like that. You can also go like this to swing from the tree. Until along came Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap that monkey right out of that tree. Okay, so here we go. Hold up your one hand, your five little monkeys. Here we go. Five little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snatched that monkey right out of that tree. Oh, now how many do we have? We've got one, two, three, four. Hold up four fingers. Four little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snatched that monkey right out of that tree. Now how many monkeys do we have? We've got one, two, three. Hold up three fingers. Three little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along came the crocodile, quiet as can be, and snatched that monkey right out of that tree. Ooh. Uh oh, uh oh. Now how many monkeys do we have? We've got one, two. Hold up two fingers. Two little monkeys swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along came the crocodile, quiet as can be, and snatched that monkey right out of that tree. Now how many monkeys do we have? Only one. One little monkey swinging from the tree. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. and snatched that monkey right out of that tree. Mr. Crocodile said, 
That's what you get for teasing me. Bye, monkeys. Thanks so much for joining me at Storytime today. Everybody raise your hand way up high. Give a great big sigh and wave goodbye. See you next time, friends.